Today, we're gonna to talk about some bull. Hey guys, welcome to Coding After 30. In this video, I wanna talk about something that you will run into on YouTube. And before I tell you what it is, it doesn't matter who you watch, but understand that everybody has their own reason for being on YouTube. Some people are professional YouTubers, some people wanna sell courses, and some people just wanna get attention, I guess, I don't know. But the point is, sometimes what you hear on YouTube could really hurt you when you're learning to code. But before I tell you what I mean, let me tell you what happened. By the way, if you're new to this channel, my name is Paul and I talk about switching careers into web development later in life. If this is something that interests you, consider subscribing. By the way, I have to give you this message. I didn't even change. I just came back from jogging. Thank God you guys can't smell me. So here's the thing. I was watching a panel of a bunch of guys that met all developers of different caliber and there was one guy in particular there who basically said that it only took him three months to learn how to code and he was able to get a job and then he was able to start a company right away and then he has another company and then a third company. So he started like a third company and he was talking about how it was easy he's like three months learn to code easy starting these three companies easy you know i get maybe you're successful but i become highly suspect when you have that attitude of very cocky attitude and how things are easy because anybody that has accomplished anything that's worthwhile in their life will tell you that it was very very difficult and here's the thing that you don't have to watch my channel you could watch anybody else's channel that you want but the whole point here is to be honest with you guys on the hard work that it takes to become a web developer especially or get into programming in general especially if you're older or switching careers or even if you're younger it takes time and anybody who tells you of how easy it is and I'm not saying there are people who maybe for whatever situation they're in in life in three months were able maybe they're genius I don't know because if someone in three months was able to get a job making hundred twenty thousand dollars a year like I must be a complete idiot like I must be super stupid that I couldn't do it in three months and that's the problem. This is where it arises. When you watch other YouTubers like this who talk about how easy it is, they'll tell you to like, go and get this link. It's not sponsored, Team Tree House link, whatever, I don't care. Or they sell you courses. There's nothing wrong with selling courses, but don't set unrealistic expectations because it's not fair. Because you guys are gonna watch these videos, you guys are gonna get on the hype train, you guys are gonna get really excited. And then after studying programming for two, three months, you guys are gonna realize that it's very difficult, it's very hard. You're gonna get discouraged and you're probably gonna quit. And then you're gonna wonder, maybe it's not for you. Maybe you're not as smart as you thought you were. Maybe you're not smart, that's what you believe of yourself. And that's just not the fact. The fact is, is that you just haven't done it long enough. Three months to learn anything, it's very difficult. The only time I could imagine that you could prepare yourself in three months to do anything and it'll be in a very narrow focus. It will be if it's an immersive learning where day and night for like 24 hours a day you're doing a certain thing, like similar to a coding bootcamp. And by the way, not all of them are created equal. But I just got so fired up by this guy and I just got so upset because here I am trying to tell everybody how difficult and hard it is and here, there he is, is telling everybody how easy it is, how anybody could do it and that is just complete baloney. It's not true. I hate being negative and a lot of people that know me will tell you that I am a very good natured kid but that's not how, how it always been. After, you know, doing everything MMA and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu for a while, you kind of do get humble a little bit and you don't talk, you know, nonsense out of your mouth because at the end of the day, you have to prove what it is that you do. And if you don't know what you're doing, you're gonna get your butt kicked. So, but that's irrelevant. The point is, is that it is unfair for you guys because it sets the wrong expectation. The hardest thing to do is to continue learning to code. It's very easy to start, but after a month, after two months, then things will hit you like a wall, like a brick wall. You're gonna be like, this is way harder than I thought. Maybe I'm not not smart enough I don't understand what I'm doing and you just have to persevere and when you have other youtubers like that where it prance around on YouTube like you know little salespeople because that's what a lot of them are and I will say it because I used to be a salesperson and there's nothing wrong with that but the point is it's at least have some decency to be a little bit honest you know don't twist the truth so much it's like some of these youtubers fall into that category as uh, make money online business where everybody's making 10,000 a month you know 20,000 a month I'm not saying it's impossible but any Anybody that I talk to will tell you that it's hard work. All my friends are like majority of them are developers. A lot of the people I hang out with, none of them told me it was easy. Even this guy on YouTube, Ben Avat, who's like a, one of the smartest programmers on YouTube, talks about how difficult it is. So don't get this idea that this is easy. Just prepare yourself. Set realistic expectations that it's going to be hard. It's going to take a lot.
lot of work, take a lot of studying. And even when you do learn to code, getting your first job is going to be even harder. It is very difficult to do so, especially if you're switching careers. It will take extraordinary effort for you guys to get your first job, but it is totally worth it, especially if this is something you enjoy and want to do. So I wanted to make this quick video for you guys get it out there that there's a lot of hype on YouTube and it is exciting especially if part of your channel is you get commission based on products you recommend and by the way I'm not saying that I'm ever gonna be immune to that I'm sure one day I'm gonna have my own products to sell but I still won't ever tell you how easy it is to become a developer because it just doesn't help anybody it takes a lot of time and a lot of effort to learn the skill don't give up if you're feeling depressed or upset for whatever reason that you're just not getting this stuff just keep studying feel free to ask questions in the comments but don't give up and just understand there's a lot of people on YouTube and again you could choose who you decide to watch you don't even have to watch my channel and they all have their own agenda of what they're trying to do and one of the people that I like on YouTube that is amazing me because of the quality of a type of person he is because you could see it this guy from uh, Bobby from Coda Foundry he has a boot camp. His whole goal is to get students to his boot camp. But if you ever watch his live stream, if you ever talk to him, he never over promotes himself. He just puts out the information and he allows you to make the decision. He's not like that slick car sales guy who's just trying to every minute get you to buy something from him and I respect that and that's the whole point as a community we have to provide value and allow you guys to make the decision but we also have to hold ourselves accountable for setting realistic expectations anyway I just want to rant in this video if you kind of hate it just give thumbs down if you liked it or agree with my message let me know and if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe because it really helps me to make more of these videos for you guys so thanks for watching I'll see you guys later